boomers will not sell their houses for anything under a $1.6 million profit. This is so accurate. Literally, like every Christmas, every time I talk to one of my aunts, they all they all say the same thing. I bought my house for thirty five grand in nineteen seventy. You know, twenty six thousand forty five. It's worth one point two. You know, it's on it's on it's in Boston. It's in Long Island. It's um you know in Naples, Florida. And it's like, oh, it's worth, you know, 1.2, 1. 1. We had to, we bought it, we, we, we bought it, it was, uh, you know, 17,000% interest rate. But I mean, it's worth so much money. And literally, like, the next sentence out of their mouth will be, God damn, Social Security doesn't keep up with the uh, property tax of my $1.8 million house. So now we have, you know, the, well, half the boomers, not all the boomers, but say half the boomers who actually have all the money, which I think it's $75 trillion. Um, I'm gonna say half, because half of them are broke, half of them have everything. They're basically like the lords, right? And that's millennials. We're gonna skip over Gen X, because they don't care, they're, si they're like silent, they don't say anything. Us millennials, are older millennials, are the serfs, right? So you got the boomers who are sitting in these big ass homes that they can't maintain, their social security doesn't pay enough, right? So then they have to go get second jobs or they, you know, marry some guy with money because, oh, that's right. They also had, you know, the, the benefit of investing in the best stocks. You know, they're like, I think they're all like Warren Buffett where they bought Coca-Cola for like three cents a share, right? And they they collect more dividends than the 1.8 million. Anyways, so you have boomers up on like the hilltop looking at all of us surf millennials down at the bottom it's almost like a class system within the generations <laughs> but but you know they did pay a higher interest rate and they'll tell you all about it that you know we should suck it up and just pay that eight or nine percent interest rate because they had to pay 19 percent in 1978 you know, but you know, their house was, they made $10,000 a year and you know, they paid four times their annual income was, or I should say their house was four times their annual income. Whereas today it's like 36 times. It's like something ridiculous.